Okay, it's Mr. Excitement <clears throat> and the cryptocurrency market is having a minor pullback. Well, we never know if these things are going to be minor or major, but um, everybody's saying minor for now, so I'll go with that. Um, what you should be doing if you're not in... Um, Oh, my bot, my trading bot notifies me via Telegram about its trades. So if you, um, oh, my ETH bot is actually doing <clears throat> some stuff right now. So my BTC bot's bagged up, hasn't been doing anything. So, um, okay, so you should be going over to techbait.net, that's my news site. And check out some of these interesting articles here. Um, the 17 millionth Bitcoin is about to be mined. What it means and why it matters. Check that article out. Check that article out. Very interesting. Okay. Um, they talk about a lot of pertinent things. Okay. Um, it looks like Gemini Crypto Exchange, which is owned by the Winklevoss brothers, <coughs> the twins. Uh, will be monitor trading using NASDAQ technology. Very interesting. Um, and here, here we are, just more blockchain news. <clears throat> blockchain is a potential game changer for insurers, right? So here's another use case for blockchain. Um, it's another one. Uh, resistance for ETH prices, temporary downward price correction. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. Um, Ethereum votes no to rectifying junior developer error that froze $360 million in parity coin wallets. Um, Blockchain, the power behind Bitcoin. Hey, always interesting when these articles pop up, right? I was the CEO of PayPal. Bitcoin is a scam. Ha, 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 ha. More FUD. Uh, Philippines lets 10 crypto firms into economic zone. Ah, very nice, very nice. Um... Binance founder taken to court by Sequoia Capital. That's interesting. I use Binance. I love Binance. Um, uh, it's about the alleged breach of an exclusive investment agreement. I don't know. Uh, everybody's suing everybody, right? Um, blockchain project to make affiliate and referral marketing accessible to all businesses. That potentially interesting for my marketing peeps uh, so you know there's a lot of good stuff posted regularly this stuff gets updated regularly this is my site this is my site this is the articles I write on the right hand side here proof of weak hands 3d what it is and why it is a big deal very good article check this out there's videos embedded too mmm eye candy so yeah, get over to techbait.net. Use this thing. Share it. Bookmark it. Use it as your browser home page. Great on a, on a smartphone. This column here gets appended to the bottom on a smartphone. So on a smartphone, you see the, the meat of it, the, the central column. And anytime you click on an article, like, uh, bang, see, see what happened right there? It opens in a new tab. You read the article, you kill the tab when you're done with it, and you go back here. You're ready for a new one. So, uh, good stuff, good stuff. Um, I'm never going to stop plugging my site because I think it is worth using. Um, let's see what Weak Hands is doing compared to that. Ah, the dumping. People are dumping. Good. Because volatility, you see, this is why you don't get upset when this happens, because volatility breeds rewards, okay? Um, let 
3D contract, baby. The contract. Read the contract. Go to Etherscan.io. And by the way, um, by the way, it's no longer on my site, but I originally found an article on my site. This is another reason to read my site. Uh, let me just click a Coinbase article here. By the way, the 17 million Bitcoin article is pretty good. It's pretty good. It talks about the gold analogy and all this stuff. It's a really good article. You should hit it up. Um, this other article, I did a video on this yesterday from the streets of New York, baby. Um, doesn't have too many views. I mean, I guess everybody just wants, you know, PO3D and uh, POWH and um, stuff like that. But I'm trying to also focus on some social news here. And I mean, this is a very, very interesting article. It's, uh, you really ought to give it some thought here, this whole idea of using blockchain to evade censorship by by putting messages into the blockchains because they know that it can't be censored, it's decentralized, it's distributed, and it will live on forever. This is very interesting, very, very interesting. This is, you know, kind of like a non-monetary use of blockchain, but it's very socially important. Um, and you know, only, only two comments here on the article down here. Um, yeah, Me Too is cancer, it's a mob of false accusations by man hating attention horse. N not all the time, it, it can be. I guess that's why you know the, uh, the crypto space is male dominated. Um, I, I understand the criticisms of Me Too and some of the people in it, but the core, um, the core idea of stopping like sexual harassment or mistreatment of women in the workplace or whatever by authority figures is, you know, I mean, come on. Do you have a mother? Do you have a wife? Do you have a daughter? Do you have nieces? Do you have friends who are women? Come on. You don't want them to be uh, abused anywhere, do you? I certainly don't. So there, there is validity to this movement, okay? Um, and them using the blockchain to evade censorship is a very, very interesting development. And yet another use case for this, and it actually makes me even more bullish on Ethereum, right? And, and, and blockchains in general. That, that's what I'm saying here, okay? And that's what you ought to be taking away from this. So anyway, please check out my video on that. Um, I did it from my phone. My phone skips around a little bit. I have a crappy phone. I have to upgrade soon. Um, I put it in airplane mode when I do the video to avoid phone calls breaking in while I'm recording, which has happened in the past. Um, but the phone itself, while it's writing to the memory card or whatever, it just sometimes it, it causes little skips and hiccups. One of my friends thought it was the signal breaking out. There was no signal while I'm recording, right, because it's in airplane mode. It's just strictly writing it to the internal storage. And then once I'm done with the video, I turn off airplane mode, reconnect, and then I upload it to YouTube, which takes a while because the signal over there, where I, where I am in New York, it's, it's terrible. But it, it does connect, and it takes a little while, but then it uploads it. But that hiccuping, skipping, is actually my phone doing it. Which is another reason I don't really do too many phone videos. It's just a real PIA to do phone videos and then wait for the upload. But in that case, that thing came across. I really wanted to make a video on it, and I did. Okay? Sometimes I just need to get out of the office and get some air. And if there's something interesting to uh, YouTube about, I, I do it. But I much prefer to do it this way on a computer at home, either very early in the morning like it is right now. Right now it's 5.25 a.m. I need to uh, pick up the pace here because I need to move on with my day. Or any odd chance I get enough time on the weekend or at night. So anyway, use techbait.net, check out this stuff, be interested in blockchain 
and uh, cryptocurrency stuff beyond just the making money portion, just the whole use case portion. And also check out all the interesting developments in the space. And you can start with TechBait by doing that because it's right all here and it's updated regularly. And if there's any exchanges you need to join or tax info or t-shirts to get you in the mood or power of weak hands which is an awesome awesome system check out my other videos on that the hardware wallets you can get it all on my site so I'd appreciate the support so uh, okay mr. excitement over and out please like subscribe share with your crypto loving or crypto needy friends and let's get the subscriber count up Thank you.